Hey guys, this is Laurel, Laurel with the Dabbling Hook. How are you? It is Monday the 21st, it's the last day of school. It was a half day for Minion 2. Minion 1's been done, graduated, enjoying life, you know, up all night, working, sleeping all day. How's everyone doing? I hope you guys are doing well. Um, it's been a while gonna be a while on and off for a while <laughs> life is still lifing hard and it's not getting any easier so lots of stuff going on on the personal front so what are you gonna do so like I said I hope you guys are doing well welcome to any new subscribers I know I'm not here a lot so if you guys are new if you found me from anywhere else I appreciate that you stop by and if you subscribe thank you very much I know there is a ton of us out there so um thank you for lending me some of your time all right what are we going to talk about um one second i have not been doing a whole lot of um crocheting and or knitting um i was doing a lot of baby crochet you guys saw those before with the um the blanket and the cardigan the hat and so on and um and then just because of stuff going on i try to Hmm. not be monogamous but I wanted to get that cardigan done um, so it is done I'll, I'll put it on in a little bit um, but yeah it's done um, yeah I don't I don't think I'll be a uh, never say never but yeah I don't think I'll be a, a, a garment designer um, at least not with a whole lot of more knowledge on my part doing just you know panels and putting on sleeves that's fine enough but um, when you have to, you know, fit it to your body more so. This is not that fitted, but I did take out the arm, I think, um, two times. Pulled it back because I am not a fan of the big billowy big sleeves. Like the cocoons with the big sleeves, definitely not me. So, um, oh, and I've decided this is my favorite color, you know, this warm, gorgeous yellow. And it's all wrinkly because it's linen, so... It is what it is. I'm not gonna iron, <laughs> um, but I'm wearing my color a lot more. I it hit me like two years ago, right before the pandemic, that you know I don't have a lot of my colors. So I went on a little bit of a binge, and I have a whole lot um, of well, not a whole lot, but a lot more of this color in my closet, and I'm wearing it a lot more now. So anything to lighten up the spirit, you know. So I'm having an after work summer beverage. I'm out of wine. I've been out of wine all week <laughs> so this is just um what is it uh, oh I just realized hold on it matches this this is for something else so I won't be talking about that but it matches the pink um what was I talking about crystal light this is just crystal light we've had it there forever and in this house we don't keep soda we don't keep juice once in a while it's hair but it's not something that's in the fridge all the time um, but we've had these crystal light things in the cupboard for quite a while so I decided why not so there's a little bit of gin I found in the uh, in the freezer um, it gets very viscous when it gets put in the freezer it doesn't freeze but it gets quite thick and uh, yeah crystal light gin of whatever kind it is and some ice cheers Oh, today's the first day of summer, right? The summer festivals. Anyway, what are we talking about? Where's my notes? Um, I will do purchases. No, I didn't need any yarn. No, I don't need any more fabric because I have fabric that I need to cut. But, you know, I needed some more self-soothing. So, yes, I bought some fabric. Let me see where it is. It'll be a little crinkly not that i'm sorry about it so that video i posted um i think it was yesterday or the day before when i stopped at hobby lobby so i had to sorry for the bending i had to um i was supposed to go to boston to do my usual week last week but my sister's actually covering thank the lord but there was some you know coverage issue for a day so i had to go in for a day and come back the next day so on my way back, I decided why not try the um, Hobby Lobby 
clearance. I've been, I haven't really been in a Hobby Lobby in almost two years. Um, but I decided, why not? So, um, I had called the one close to where my parents are, and the woman said that, um, yeah, they had clearance, uh, but it's almost gone. And, oh, she said it was just for the week. And at first, I'm like, oh, that's odd. But didn't give it much thought. So I took my niece, you know, to get her out of the house, I took her on a trip with me to Hobby Lobby. Yeah, it wasn't clearance. It was the regular 30% off week. And I was oh, so mad because the traffic was horrendous getting there. Anyway, only thing I left with was some Velcro for something I needed. So when I got back home, I called the Hobby Lobby near me and asked. And they weren't out yet. They were still waiting. And that was a week ago. So I figured, okay, they're not out yet. I'll give it some time. And I called on, when did I call? On Friday to ask. And she's like, yeah, but it's almost all gone. I'm like, no, not that I need any more yarn. We all know that I don't eat any more yarn. Um, but you know, it's Clarence and it's just, it feels good just to, you know, browse and maybe buy something or find a really good deal, which I'll show you. Um, so I went and as you saw in the video, it's not a whole lot. It's considering we've been under lockdown and not a lot of people have been in stores. You figured they would want to get rid of stuff in there to bring out new stuff. But then maybe they didn't have um, stuff brought in over the past year. So they didn't want to. I don't know. But there was very little on clearance. Um, and a lot of the stuff was just not something I... In the past, I would have bought just because it's on clearance, and now I'm being a little more judicious about my spending. So, yeah, I bought very little of yarn. But even though in the video I said, you know, it's the, the fabric's 30% and I have stuff that I haven't cut, I saw the clearance in the fabric area and I decided to just take a look. <laughs> anyway, I've been on this... Um, I don't, it's not a kick because I really haven't started it, but I've wanted to do bags that are floral in nature, but not, um, not like big, bold floral, even though I like that, but just, um, kind of the sweet dainty and I'm like, who are you? But it's just, it's been on my mind to do it. So I finally found some that I'm like, oh, these will do. So first one is that it's, is it upside down? It's upside down that so hopefully I will at least get some time this week to cut maybe not so but to cut some of this fabric and at least get it prepped but there's this this I love you'll see in a second come on look at that <laughs> it's just so pretty I might just have to keep this for myself <sighs> these weren't on clearance only two of them I bought were on clearance then there's this I don't know what it is about this and it's got like this soft pink that's just not me but I don't know there's that oh there's there's this oh and this one there's a softness about it I don't know why it's just but I like it I think feminine and dainty two things that are well feminine obviously but dainty not me but And then this I bought as lining for them. Isn't that adorable? It's just so cute. This was, I think this was on clearance. Yes, this was on clearance. And this was on clearance. I'm thinking making these two-tone bags with the bottom of it just being this um, cotton canvasy kind of print. So, very neutral. So, yeah. I bought fabric, even though I shouldn't, but... It really does lifts my spirit, so I'm not gonna argue. I need spirit lifting right now. Okay, so there was that, and then I am making one of my whips that I'll show you. Um, I think I have to blame Deb for that because she sent me the link to it. And then I've been wanting to make, even before I started the cardigan, I've been wanting to make another garment because I have maybe three of them that I've started that I started with scraps and I ran out and you know because I couldn't find comparable yarn they've been sitting there so 
Um, I will show though, the first wearable garment I made, this has got to be like four years ago, maybe, or more. At least four years. And it was just your basic two panels. And I got so lazy, I changed it as I went along. I just wanted something for the summer where I can put like a tank top underneath or camisole underneath and then wear this. So I've worn this on vacation, I think, twice. And it's just a simple. So I started with double crochets and I'm like, oh, you know, me and instant gratification. I'm like, this is going way too slow for me. So then I um, alternated between double crochets and treble crochets. And this was a... Um, Isaac Mizrahi cotton yarn. It's basically the same as a um, Premier yarn. Um, I forget the name of it, but there was a cotton yarn by Isaac Mizrahi. And um, it did, not pill, but it did, um, what's the word? It fluffs out a lot on you. On you. And um, I don't remember if it still does. It's been washed a few times and it still does. But anyway. So this, I just, summertime when we go on vacation, I have a little tank top or whatnot underneath. And then I found it was too short, so I just added this um, mesh border to it to give it a little length. And if I can find the picture of me modeling it three or four years ago, if I can find it, I'll put it in. But if not, um, yeah. So this is my one completed garment that I've made. And it's been well used, as you can tell. I don't know if you can see all the... Now, it's very well used. So, my one and only. So I've always wanted to complete another one. I started enough that I needed to complete one. But all this to say, I wanted to make another garment before I started the cardigan. So I, and when Deb sent me the link to this, I'm like, oh, perfect timing. And I had just finished the cardigan. So I went to Michael's looking for yarn and they had um, cream cotton on clearance. So I ended up with, I think I bought almost all of what they had. I think there was just one of this, what is the color? Mid gray. Okay, and then there were, excuse me, two of this ice blue. So these two can complement each other so there's two of those and then I have two whites just white I don't need to focus that and then I bought three of this um, dusty rose which I'm surprised it's called dusty rose because it's like a beigey color it there's I don't know maybe on camera it kind of looks like it has a hint of rose but in person absolutely not it's just a light brown color like a wood tone color there's no it looks kind of pinkish on camera but it's not at all at all there's like no rose whatsoever in here at all looks like a piece of wood a light piece of wood so I bought three of these and I'm on my second one already in what I'm working on and then the other one they had one of this um, and I think whatever I make with this, it would be nice to trim it with this. And I don't know why, me and the pink again, but this is called Fiery Flamingo. I would not call this fiery at all. Now it's blown out on, on camera, but it's more of like a light coral color. Yeah. So yeah, I bought all those on clearance at Michael's when I didn't need to. So I think, oh, and then, so my other acquisition from, um, Hobby Lobby. Oh, and I just realized I thought I had bought two of the same colors. Ooh. Oh, maybe I can still use it. Er. Anyway, so I ended up, um, the only thing I ended up picking up was the um, Yarn Bee Color Idol. Um, and this was the one that was, where are you? Come on. Content. 50% 50, 50 merino, 30% nylon, 20% acrylic. So I got the orangeology color. Orangeology. Come on. 
and again it's a little lighter on camera and then I love this one and I think I'm gonna have to do a quick trip back there because I thought I got the same color this is power surge I love this one way brighter on camera definitely warmer in person and then this is neon watermelon so these two look very similar but you can see the difference and then I bought da, 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 da. what did I buy what is this magenta yeah this is magenta and it's a little lighter again come on camera come on there you go so that's them and that everything looks lighter on camera so what I decided um, there's the mindfulness shawl that I want to make I had mentioned in a previous video that I actually printed out the pattern because it's something I wanted to make um, it's by Elena something something I don't know can't say her name but I'll put a link to it below and I was looking and I'm like oh I could use it calls for three skeins of um, Malabrigo Machida and it's a fingering weight yarn me and fingering I am I'm going to bite the bullet and try it stupid camera just keeps cutting off Oy. <sighs> anyway as I was saying I it calls for three skeins two of the in the picture there's a gorgeous warm like rust color orangey burnt orangey color um, and then a natural color and two of the natural and one of that um, contrast color and I thought I had two of these when I looked at it off to the side I thought they were the same but maybe I can still make it work it doesn't have to be the same I can do whatever so I was going to use this for the off-white color that's using two of and then use this um, for the uh, contrast color I think I'll still do that but if I could still make it over to Hobby Lobby, I might go see if they still have any of these left. I think I had gotten what they had of these. And one of one of these two had multiples. I don't remember which one. <sighs> anyway, all this to say, I'm going to try using fingering weight yarn and a 3.5 millimeter hook. It's so thin. It's so thin. <sighs> anyway. Anywho. So that's that. My Sierra Madre shawl. Is it in here? No, it's not in here. I have no idea what I do with it. Hang on. Oh, it's in here. I started this, I think, at the beginning of the year, and it's just so slow going. That, oops, I stopped in the middle of a row, didn't I? I might have. Yep, I did. So I did add a good bit of length. I think the last time I showed it, this is the top. Last time I showed it, I was probably like up to here. So I've added this much to it in the last couple of weeks. But there's no rush to it. But then again, I would like to get it done. So there's that. And then my Lina shawl. No, Pam finished hers. Mine is just so slow going. I don't even know where it is. Is that in here? Nope. This is my sock that I still yet to finish following the um, Earth Tone Girl, her sock tutorial. I just need to go back and do the, the toe. And I just haven't found the time to sit and concentrate on it. So yeah, that's where I am. In this bag, I have, this is an Ella bag. Um, this is a me bag. And this is a bag from, I don't remember. It was either an Angelia bag or I think it was an Angelia bag. Yes, it was. She did the ribbon. But anyway, um, this has. I was trying to do the set of um, the cal for June, and I have a feeling I might be late this month. So that's how life is. So I think. Oh, my other whip. So I mentioned the. Um, cotton yarn I bought from Michaels so 
the link that Deb had sent me was, and this is the Canadian crotchet, by the way, was to um, a pattern called a tulip cardigan. And it's a summer cardigan. It's made in cotton, worsted weight cotton. So I'm like, oh, right up my alley. And coming off the cardigan, <laughs> I um, I figured, oh, I can, I can do this. You know, I was kind of like in the groove. So I did the back and I made it a little longer and I probably shouldn't have gone as long. But then again, I don't like cropped or short things. So, but I'm going to stand up and oh, it's not bad. So this is the back actually. And it's a very simple, it's a, um, a cluster V stitch. It's usually called, um, but it's that it's just a, it's a two row repeat and it's really it's easy um i joined and started the sleeve area and i'm almost done with that before i start doing the front and then you would do on one side to do the front panel and then reattach to do the other panel so <sighs> i've been giving this good effort because my brain has not been concentrating on anything because of life right now so um, I haven't even posted on Instagram, I think, in like three or four days. That's how, and I was a daily, usually am a daily poster on Instagram, but it's, yeah, anyway, so. And I figured this color is neutral enough. It can go over anything. It can complement anything. And I'm thinking I might do, oops, watch caught. I might ending up, ending up, I might end up one or two things. I might use, I don't know, I might do this on the trim. It doesn't call for it, but I might trim it in this just to give it some, some pizzazz. Oh, I'm stepping on yarn, but who knows? I may change my mind, but we'll see. So yeah, that's where I am. I'm actually quite excited about this one. Just getting another garment done so i'm hoping it'll spur me on and to keep me even more motivated i have it and oh and this is um hold on it's by coffee and crochet it's a tulip lace cardigan and that's just some notes i put there but this is what it looks like i will put a link to it so i, I made mine a little longer mine comes to like here on my on my thigh so a little longer but as I was saying to keep me more just motivated and smiling oops hang on I'm stuck I'm stuck I'm housing it in my bag my ruby baby bag <sighs> yep every time I look at it and every time I finish a row and I'm working on it it's just it's a great combo. So, get this inside, right? Tell you I'm embracing my color more and more. Yes. So, I just realized I have another whip. Yes, I have another whip. I don't know. I just got into like starting all the things. Start itis is seriously, seriously real. So, I my flower pattern that i have i have a tutorial i think on how to yeah i have a tutorial on how to do it but i modify it all the time um to suit whatever i need if i need it smaller bigger i change things around so i change it around a little and i use it to do my very own granny square hold on so this was how i originally hold on hold on my mouth is moving faster than my brain so this is how I originally made it. So there's the flower modified, right? So this is my eight petal flower modified a bit. And then you can't see in this, but it's got popcorn stitches going around right after. Um, right after the flower, there's a row of the regular granny and then there's a row of popcorn stitches and then a row of regular granny and then I do regular granny but the corners have popcorn so this was the original and then I've modified it I have some um, loops and threads wool like it's so soft 
The only thing I don't like about it is if you pull from the center, it sticks on itself and it, it gets um, tangled very easily. But, and it's a fingering weight. Um, and I tripled it. And I did this one. So this one, <coughs> excuse me. This one is all um, granny except the second round after the flower, I did just the corners in popcorn. So I wanted it to be a certain um, size so this is six inches and then these are the three colors of um, loops and threads will like that I have so there's this slate blue color this um, I think it's spice or I forget what it's called it's on Ravelry um, and then I did this one as well and this one has um, the row of popcorn around it and then I just did two rows of granny square I didn't put popcorn in the corner of the subsequent rows but yeah so these two and then I had tried it with um, loops and threads the the stripey one they have a speckle and stripe colorway now and I did it and I love the color on here it's blowing out but I did that one so yeah that's that so I'm like I needed something different because you know which is why I have a gazillion whips because I like to start things and I've had um, nitpicks Bravo bulky it used to be one of my go-to's I've had a bunch for a while so I decided I'll just pull them all out and just use them see how far they'll go so I have like this one which I love this one I think this is umber heather I love this one and my thing is probably gonna shut off in like five minutes I've got a navy blue I've got a couple of these I have one of I have two or three of the this one I have a brown I have I think I'm gonna have to order some white well I will have to um, because I decided and I don't like this square in um, in the bulky weight this is a number five and I'm finding I'm not too keen on it but I want to get rid of um, use up the yarn so I also had this camel color too and purple and a brown just a regular chocolate color so I think I'm up to one two three four five six I think I'm gonna go maybe seven wide maybe but I just decided to do join as you go and no real um, order of it. I'm just trying to ease up the yarn. So, yeah. So my own square, my flower square. And I've got it housed. Oh, there's the camel. It's, yeah, camel heather. There's really no heather in it, though. It's just straight up camel. But, um... I'm housing it in one of my tea dottles purchase. I think this is one of her maker bags. Yep. So it's in here. That is it. Let me put this back in here. That is it for my whips. Yep. Starditis. Starditis. Okay. Um. What have I finished? Let's see, am I going to shut off? Probably in a couple of minutes. All right. I did some uh, Octos. I have this, I had two skeins of uh, Premier Parfait yarn. Actually, I have more than two. I have three. But this one is a multicolor, a striped one. I have a, a, like a camel color and a yellow that I used a couple of years ago. I still have most of it. And then this multicolor one that I use, I think, in 2019 to do turtles for somebody so I was just sitting there and of course I, I'm just in the starditis so I made um, and if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen this um, last week week and a half ago but I made a parfait stack so is that I think I have to make one more before I complete the order that I'm supposed to make for somebody and let her know that they're ready. Um, that's that. What else? Um, 
I am going to put in a little video clip or maybe I'll put it on the side here um, I made a bunting um, I had made a, a the, the minions this used to be their playroom and it used to be a disaster and when I finally cleared them out completely like a few years back before I took it over there were still a few little things hanging around and one was at, they always had balls around always um, so there was a ball left there so I crocheted a little cover for it and it's hanging on a tree and that's been there since I think last year yeah sometime last year I hung it up so I decided there was, it needed a little color plus I wanted to do this bunting um, so I used some scrap Red Heart um, Super Saver I think it was a preppy stripe or one of the stripe yarns oh by the way did you see that um uh, what's her name TLC I forget your name um, she just put out a video that Red Heart Stripes is going away so I haven't gone and looked but yeah all those bright gorgeous neon stripes those colors they've discontinued it probably because of you know the, the takeover by um, spin right in in premier not premier um, inspiration your inspiration so if you are looking for stripes go look for them and stock up because they're gone they've discontinued it I'm hoping maybe they've discontinued it and maybe they're going to repackage it under something because it's very popular especially the um, gonna say unicorn stripe but that's not the one I used it to make my amineko which I don't have around but um, yeah if they discontinued that would be stupid because it's so popular it was like huge TikTok popular with the TikTok hats too <sighs> anyway um, where was I going with all this <laughs> I know oh, the bunting so I had some leftover and I made the bunting out of that and it's just it was color I didn't want something in plain white at least not for there so it's hanging on the tree outside and I will put a video showing what it looks like and I think I caught the ball too in the video that's been hanging there so um, I had done um, a cover for the post of my mailbox um, last year but we had a drunk driver hit the mailbox and it went so we have a new mailbox up and I have not covered it again so I might do something like that but Anyway, actually I have a pom-pom hanging on the front of my mailbox. I had made pom-poms and I just had one hanging there and I put it on there. And this is probably going to shut off in a few minutes because it's at 16. Stupid camera. Anyway, um, so that's that. And if it cuts me off, I am going to pause and go um, put on a cardigan to show you what it looks like. Okay, so... It is obviously not polished because it's my very first. There's some puckers and such. Um, I kept notes and made sure I had the right counts and everything. But um, one side looks on the sleeve looks a little bigger than the other and it's because of um, the difference in yarn batches. Um, I think this side was the one that was sent to me and it felt a little thinner um, than this side so it's just I don't know it just came out a little it's the same number of everything I made sure I kept track of it but the yarns did feel a little um, different than the one I originally started with but I don't care I haven't washed it yet so I'm hoping that will kind of ease a lot of it uh, it's acrylic so if I do I will try to steam it but who knows I may not but I keep saying but I love it I did the um, you know the the do the chain comeback slip stitch for the for the trim the whole the sweater was done in a 5.5 millimeter I'm pretty sure or was it six 5.5 millimeter the cuff was done in a five millimeter and I could have actually gone down maybe to a 4.5 because I like I do like mine snug and obviously it'll stretch over time so I could have gone down and then the I wasn't sure what I was going to do for um, the collar band and I didn't want to do this because I knew it would take forever on something this this long so um, I'm drawing a blank I'm drawing a blank. Um, wow. 
Karen Valori Miguel. And I'm totally forgetting your name, your your channel name, or your, your business name. But she did, she's doing herself a sweater in. This color's in it too. Probably what drew my attention to. <laughs> but one of the panels on the sweater it has this color in it. But she was doing a um a slip well I asked her this looks like a slip stitch um, border and she said yep and Debbie you know how I love my slip stitch but I'm like oh I'm gonna have to copy that and I'm so glad I did it just it looks so nice and so finished it's just worth the extra tedious time to do it I just I absolutely love it I did go to a six millimeter for this because you know you're doing slip stitch it's it's the smallest stitch it's gonna be tight and it did you know curve in a bit which I don't mind I'm not gonna put buttons on there and if or I might I don't know if I do it'd be like a one button but then again I do like it open and you know to be able to do whatever with so maybe not but I would go up another hook size to do this so it doesn't um, curve in a little so it doesn't curve in so much on the edges but I absolutely love it it looks like you you know you sewed on um, this so yeah I did the mattress stitch and obviously mine needs a little work on the inside looks where are we like this the way I did it so I'm sure I did it shouldn't be this um, noticeable I don't know but the outside looks great This is me and my first cardigan. Yep, definitely I'm all up for the more fitted sleeves. I do not like the big, you know, just go straight. That would be a big no-no for me, which is why I ripped it out like twice. But I would work on figuring out how to um, do a little more tailoring, I guess, here. But it's got the comfy cozy feel to it the color is just perfect this pecan from um the just yarn yeah yeah no complaints so and it's warm <laughs> it's a warm day the ac is running but it's quite warm outside today so um yeah my first real real other than this my first real completed garment and I think it kind of spurred me on to do this cardigan here I'm a cardigan person and I don't know if I kept it but I sent Z a little clip um, my my closet shelf part of it broke and I had to go get stuff at you know the hardware store to fix it and all that and it just gave me an opportunity to like really go you have too much shit. Oh, excuse me <laughs> you have too much stuff in there <laughs> um, so I was weeding out some things and I just really noticed for the first time how many cardigans I have I love a cardigan I unapologetically love a cardigan um, if I if something catches my eye in the store especially if it's on sale or on clearance and especially if it feels good I I'm all there so I have multiple shades of gray I have multiple golden gorgeous color yellow look I'm looking at it and it's just everywhere that yellow gorgeous color it's just ugh. this was a bag I did I had I'd done a granny square for a granny square day I think this was maybe 2018 2017 and it's just been sitting there so I sewed it onto a bag a little wonky but I love it in the inside ugh. and the bags just sitting there it's never been used <laughs> but anyway I have a lot of cardigans I have black I have multiple shades of gray I have this color I have a couple of um, navy I have the taupey kind of color in different shades and the one I was wearing last time in my video that's just cozy from oh, from Target it's like getting a big hug I have multiple colors of them <laughs> so I love a cardigan I, I do so I'm thinking when I was in this fluffy I loved sweaters I had a lot of sweaters but I don't like them when I'm this size but a cardigan always all the time and I have many so maybe that'll be the title I love a cardigan <laughs> so who knows if I get my um, ooh, oh 
if I get my um, garment making mojo going and I actually get this done in a reasonable amount of time, I might try another one. And I bought a whole bunch of these at Michael's on Clarence, the Waterford, Waterford Big. And I have two of, I think, almost each of the colors. That could make a great cardigan. And the colors all gel too. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm getting bit by a bug. Who knows? But on that note, I think that's all that I had. Yeah, I think that's it. Still took forever though. Um, all my chatting. When is the next video? I have no idea. Um, oh, by the way, that is Georgette. If I can find a picture, I'll put a picture of Georgette. It's the George the Giant Bunny. It, I think it was a premier yarn pattern. And I had this pink yarn, which was Loops and Threads Impeccable that they got rid of this colorway. I think this is the Holland colorway. And I decided to just use that instead to make it. And it's Georgette and she's huge and she's heavy and she's toddler size. <laughs> so she's just sitting there. But in cleaning up, I found I used to make... Um, a lot of earrings crochet earrings even today my I begged my mom to pierce my ears when I was younger and like it was done and then I always forget to put on earrings I hardly ever have earrings on but once in a while especially during the holidays maybe at work I would um, put on a pair of earrings or sometimes when I first started doing craft fairs I used to I used to bring earrings they didn't sell as well so um, but I used to wear them but I found I still had a few so let me show you before I go this is my favorite. It's a little discolored because I've worn it a lot. So these are just granny squares that I turned um, on the diagonal. So it's like diamonds. They're just saying it's a sparkly yarn. And these I stiffened so they're still a little stiff. These were, they were like Vanna's, Choi Vanna's Glamour kind of color. And they were just simple flowers and I wear these like in the fall. Oh, they're falling. These were summer. They're just a pineapple motif. I don't remember where or whose tutorial I followed, but I wore these in the summer a lot. These was um, this was a teardrop um, motif I saw somewhere. I don't even know if I still have it, but I just turned it into earrings. This was just me playing around. Oops just like a little spirally flower and I have a little bead on it this I don't know what I was thinking this was a big flower and it's just I don't like big earrings just like I don't like big sleeves and it was a little too heavy for me and then there's two more there's this one that I used um, like crochet thread and I think I just lost a side but it was another a smaller pineapple motif with crochet thread. Yep. And I did this years ago, July, a patriotic theme. I forget why I made that, because I'm not really into these colors. So I had that, and then the one I wore most, actually, I had one side of it on my desk because I was actually thinking of recreating it. But this is a tutorial from One Virtuous Woman, Marcel. This was, I think, a very popular one and it needs restarching. But there were loops that were intertwined. And I did them in my island flag colors. So, and I didn't do the best job back then, of course, but... It needs a good restarching. And I have these all on this. I found this somewhere and I, for the life of me, I can't find where I found it, but I made a necklace out of this trim motif. And then I used to do flowers on everything, like I said. So I made this chain necklace and then I attached flowers to it and I needed to attach a little better, but I wore this for a little while. 
So it's been sitting, it's been hanging upstairs on my dresser forever and ever. So yeah, my crochet jewelry. Yeah, earrings that I haven't worn. The only two that I, wore, I wear regularly now is the granny square one, usually around Christmas time, and then this one around fall time. Yeah, oh, I forgot one. I forgot two. There's this little flower motif. I think it was supposed to be a star. And then this is just a popcorn flower that I did. I prefer smaller earrings rather than the big ones, so yeah. That's it. And I'll probably get rid of all these, except for a couple of them. On that note, before my camera shuts off in another couple of minutes, I will bid you adieu, and as to when I will see you again, I have no idea. It's just the way life is right now. Okay, it's Monday again. I hope you guys have a good rest of the week. I hope the weather's nice. Looks like we're about to get some rain. Um, yeah, thank you for visiting, for spending some time with me. I do appreciate it. I am watching all you guys, but again, I queue you guys up, and <laughs> I don't get to comment a whole lot. So I will see you guys on the interwebs. Bye.